effects of human activity across the world are continually running down the environment they depend on. Concerted efforts are however underway to turn this worrying situation around. In Kenya, the Mau Mara Serengeti Sustainable Water Initiative project, commonly known as Mamase, is making strides in transforming the Mara River Basin, a key economic resource for the community and country at large. The Netherlands in their five-year strategy for Kenya and water decided to invest in two different river basins uh, in the country. They had already begun a project in Naivasha, one of the most important basins, and especially for the Netherlands where we uh, cooperate enormously in agriculture, floor, uh, flowers and the like, and they selected the Mara as the second basin. So the Mau Mara Serengeti Sustainable Water Initiative was a response to a call from the Netherlands Embassy. They were looking to invest in water uh, safety and security in Kenya. And so we've developed a program in the Mara that has many similarities with the ongoing work in Naivasha. And actually the two basins collaborate and communicate and, and look to uh, together learn and develop tools that can be shared uh, more widely in Kenya. As a four-year program, Mamase aims at supporting people and institutions along the Mara River Basin to reverse the rampant environmental degradation trends. It focuses on five key result areas which include supporting water-based institutions to develop effective river basin management strategies, training farmers on market-driven water-wise agriculture development and forest conservation in the upper basin, Training on market-driven water-wise grazing rangeland conservation in the Middle Mara Basin, sustainable water-focused financing mechanisms, and creating a regional knowledge center for sustainable water resource management, capturing lessons and tools for wider application in Kenya. While marking its first anniversary, Mamase has achieved several milestones. In the Mao forest situated along the upper Mara River basin, a previously lush green terrain with rolling hills of forest cover which have since vanished due to human activity. Mamase is training farmers through cooperatives on profitable and water-wise agricultural practices, in turn helping them to realize the importance of forest cover and environmental conservation on their land. People tend to, to see that it's difficult. Eh? to cut a portion, a 10% of your, 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 your shamba, and plant trees. So when Mamasa came in with the project of avocado, that's where now the people liked, because uh, they can, it can conserve the environment, it can act as a, as a forest, and at the same time, increase the income of the farmer. When Mamasa came, it advised us on the growing of fodder, as a way of uh, uh, soil uh, intervention measure. But then we found this, uh, the growing of uh, napier grass will also give us more food to the, milk, uh, to the dairy. In return, we get more milk from the, from, uh, from the dairy animals, thus increasing our family income. To help address these problems, farmers are receiving on-farm trainings on implementing erosion control measures. The first step of this process is first farmers to understand how the slopes affect erosion. How do they have? How do they set up measures to control the the, the erosion? And uh, we hold what we call farmer field schools. Eh? Farmer field schools are uh, is an approach of agricultural extension that uh, delivers information and sensitization to farmers to be able to change their practice or adopt new practices. Then two, they have to set up erosion control measures before the the farm is uh, good enough to set crop in. Farmers get books, they draw their farms, they know how the theory bit of it works. Then once the theory is, uh, is, uh, is understood, then you come to the field and do it practically for them to see how it works. With Mamase being a public-private sector-driven project, commercial farmers who are mainly along the Middle River Basin have also brought into the River Basin's transformation process. From what we do here, and uh, that's really on the farming side, I mean, people have a lot of interest in sort of, yeah, uh, growing crops that can be taken to the market. And we on our hand say you can do that provided there's sustainability and that we look after the environment as well. So I think that mix of us being able to sort of facilitate through support within Mama Say, and that's either with training of farmers, creating awareness, 
of certain technique, techniques that you need to do, or like this, a trial field for agroforestry where farmers can come in. I think they really appreciate it. Along the middle Mara River Basin, the area is largely a pastoralist dwelling with large cattle herds which freely graze leading to increased erosion and degradation of the land due to the lack of grazing plans. To reduce this effect, Mamasa is working with Enon Kishu Conservancy to train farmers on the importance of rangeland management in return, helping them to improve their value chain. Before it was just like the cultural way of having a lot of cows, even if they are falling dead and they are tiny, just it's the number of cows. Now they've realized by having less cows, but in a better way, better condition, more, more meat, that they can get a better price of it. Also by managing well their grassland, by, by going uh, with grazing plants, that actually they are benefiting, that they can pass the dry season without major losses of livestock. Previously, we had 150 cattle and the grass were not enough for these 150 because there was no good plan. The Mamose helped us to create and we create uh, 14 blocks around the conservancy. Now the 14 blocks now came up and we got, we got to enough grass for our animals. That is now after getting the enough grass, we now decided to increase the number because the grass are now enough for the wildlife and this our cattle. Further downstream, the Mara River serves the renowned Maasai Mara Game Reserve, a key tourist attraction reserve and contributor to Kenya's GDP through tourism. However, lodges within the conservancy are faced with the challenge of managing effluent waste from their facilities. Mamasa is spearheading the construction of wetlands in these facilities. We are using this river water for cleaning and also for the toilets and all that. But uh, we came to a realization that we had a problem with our guests. They always complain that their toilets are so dirty. After we had this an idea from the Mamasi people, so far now, when we use this water now for flushing our toilets, we have never had any problem with our guests because the water is so clean and the toilets are always clean. This project, it has really given us a good name. We have no smell around. Our neighboring community are not complaining like the first time. The use of low-cost technology for measuring water fluctuations in the river is helping to monitor the water levels in the basin. When we monitor the quality, this informs us on the activities going, 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 being done in the upper catchment. If the soil erosion, you see the river is sediment laden. If the river is sediment laden, you know there's a lot of soil erosion up there. If it's having chemicals, you know farmers are using too much fertilizer, so at least you can go talk to them to good management practices. Mobilization and buy-in of the communities around the river basin and other stakeholders through open-day discussions on the progress of the project has been instrumental for Mamasa's success. There are 11 consortium partners and that's the biggest project we've ever had. But the good thing is, and this is also respected as we saw today, is that the combination of partners is so good. We have think tanks, Egerton University, ITC, others from the Netherlands. We have uh, Mara Farming, which is a private entity. And we have uh, UNESCO IHE, of course, who is the coordinator of this huge program. The, the fact that there are so many partners uh, involved in this project is really good. And now really everything, everybody's coming up steam. First of all, we are grateful as a county. You, you know we are the key stakeholders in the Mara River Basin. And we appreciate what Mamas is doing up there from Mao uh, Forest towards the Mara and down to Serengeti. And we are in fully support of the project. Whatever they do, we are fully supporting as a department and as a county. As the world embraces sustainable environmental and economic development, Mamase has laid down the foundation and just scratched the surface while rehabilitating Kenya's Mara River Basin. To keep the conversation going, visit our website.